Hello everyone, Alex again. Today I'm going to show you a bunch of tips and tricks in Bluebeam Review. First, I'm going to show you how to staple together a bunch of PDFs with one click directly from Windows Explorer. Then we're going to go over how to create page labels. That's extremely useful because you'll be able to rename your thumbnails specifically with information that's contained within the PDF. So for example, if at the bottom right you have a sheet number, then you instead of having one, two, three, four, you'll have A100, A101, etc. And that will be done automatically with one click. Similarly, I'm going to show you how to create bookmarks, which is, you know, an index of PDFs based on information that is contained within the PDF. So if you have A100 as a sheet number and existing plan as a description, you can have A100 dash existing plan. And do the same thing for 100 PDFs that you have contained within a single document. And that's all done again with one click. I'm also going to touch very briefly on grids and snaps. And that's so that we're able to create what's called spaces. So that you can navigate directly to that particular area of a PDF. We're also going to create some hyperlinks and places. And then I'm going to show you how to perform a visual search. So that if you have a certain graphic that you want to see where else is repeated within your PDF document, you can find all of them again with one click. This can be a symbol, a sink, a lavatory, a toilet, a door, whatever you want. See you in a little bit. Hi everyone, this is Alex with BIM It Up, where we help you with professional training and coaching in mechanical, electrical, plumbing, fire protection systems, and Autodesk platforms like Revit and AutoCAD MEP. Let's get started. Now you can use Bluebeam to combine all this into a single file just by right clicking, combine files into review. Then you just give it a name. Let's say combined set. You just click OK and you just table. And then what Bluebeam has created is a combined file that contains all your sheets. Notice that I have all my sheets here in the thumbnails, right? So I have A100, A101, A200, etc. But then my thumbnails just said 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is not too useful for me to navigate quickly to where the page that I want is located. So what you can do is simply come here to create page labels. And then you want to do that from page regions. And then you simply select the region. You can zoom in if you want. Then you select more or less the page region on which that information should be contained. And then it gives you a preview here. You see A A100, so it's working pretty good. You just click OK. And then how many pages? Click OK. And just like that, they have all been renamed. So you can easily find A302 right here. And you can do something similar with your bookmarks right here. So right now I have nothing, right? So let's say I want to create a bookmark. Just click here, create bookmarks. And then we want to do it by page region. So just select that. And then we're going to select. So let's say we want to take this space because you may have like FP or whatever before. And then you may have 100B or something like that. So you always want to grab a little bit more of that space. And then you can have, let's say, a space, a dash, and then you can add another region, like the name. So you can select, let's say, this from here to here. And then see the preview here, how nice? A100 dash existing plan. So you can click OK. And then it tells you how many pages, and then you say OK. And just like that, you have a list, a very nice list, and then you can select from any of your pages from your whole document. So another thing that's pretty neat is that you can create spaces in Bluebeam, just like you do in Revit, for example. And uh, if I go under my preferences up here, and I go into Grid and Snap, I have checked Snap to Content. And what that allows me to do is that if I want to do, let's say, a line and I get close to like the corner of this door, you will automatically snap to it anything that is vector geometry. And since this 
was just created from Revit, this is vector geometry. So the beauty of that is that if I want to create a space now, I can just come here to Spaces, and then I can click here to Add a Space, and I simply click, say, here, and then here, and then here, 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 up. and then here, and now I can simply close it. I'm going to give this a name, so let's say Kitchen Dining. I'm going to call it Kitchen Dash Dining, just in case it gives me a problem with the slash. But you get the, the gist of it, right? So that's a space. And the cool thing about that is you have two things. You, you have a space now defined, so any annotations or any, any markups that you do here, they will be reflected under the kitchen slash dining space. So that's an advantage. And what's pretty cool about that is that, let's say, you know, if by default, if I had it like this, and I go to my bookmarks, and then that's A300, right? And I set to current view. If I, whenever I come to A300, just like that, it will open up the zoom out version of the whole thing, right? But let's say I wanted to open here the kitchen dining. I could I could create a new bookmark. So the cool thing about having defined my space is that if I right click here, I can define this bookmark to be this particular action. And then under this action, I can say, okay, jump to, and then I want to jump into page Actually, not even a page, I want to jump into my space. And since I defined the space here, which is page four, kitchen dining, I can click an OK. And then what happens is that, let's say I'm here in floor uh, framing, I go here to kitchen dining, whoop, there it is. So let's say I zoom out here and I, whatever, I zoom in here, right? And then you're in the demo plan. And you want to go back to kitchen dining, you just click here. Boom, kitchen dining. It doesn't matter if you're all the way zoom out and zoom in into the corner. Go back to demo plan, kitchen dining. Boom, that's the kitchen dining. So typically, many of your sheets will be referring to other sheets. So let's say in this case, I go to the existing plan and I say, okay, for new stuff, go to sheet A300 because that's where the new stuff is because that's the new plan. Right. And, you know, this is just a simple example that I did for you guys. But if it were to be a, a very complex project where you have, you know, 300 or 1400 sheets, it would be very useful to be able to create hyperlinks in which you want to go check out the new stuff and you want to go to A300. It would be nice if you clicked here and it would take you to page A300. Uh, so you can you can definitely do that. And you can do it several ways. You can come here to uh, links and then create your hyperlinks. But I'm gonna show you in case you have the, the extreme version, you can come here to tools. Actually, let's do a batch. So that way we do the whole document, the whole combined at the same time. So you can come here to batch and then under links, you can create a new link. And then um, you, you, know, you need to add something. I'm gonna add the open file which is this one here, and, and then we click Next. And now you have several ways of creating that link. You can do it by page label. If you have your labels already created and you want to do it that way, we can also even do by page region, just like we have been doing. You just select and let's say, you know, this is your, your region, All right? Basically the, the sheet number. And that's a preview, so it's working pretty well. Let's hit OK. And you know, you can go into settings and change a few things, and it tells you exactly what it's looking for. I'm not going to go into that. I'll leave it up to you to have fun. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and generate. And it found something. So let's see what it does. Let's go to run. And it created two hyperlinks. And I only created two hyperlinks because I only have two th little things in the example to show you. But I'm going to finish and close. And I'm going to show you what it did. 
so I'm in the existing plan and right here is uh, asking for a 300 see so now I have the little hand with the finger so if I click on it, it takes me to sheet a 300 and even if I go to another sheet let's say the demo plan I have a similar note here it says for new stuff go to sheet a 300 click there boom a 300 this would be very powerful if on my first sheet I had like a drawing index you know I could just click in any of them and it would take me directly to that sheet in this example I just don't have one but that's what it would do and that would definitely speed up your PDF navigation you know you could go throughout your document fairly quickly but let's say you don't have the extreme version you just want to create a link a hyperlink manually right so let's see what uh, let's see d6 right so this is a note to demolish this wall so let's go in there demolish existing partition and it says it refers them to the to accommodate new layout right so what you can do is you can click here hyperlink then you can select this and then you can associate that to any page that you want or even better we can go to the space that we created one that's called kitchen dining and then when I click OK and I hit escape, now if I hover over it, see the little finger? Boom! That takes me directly to the kitchen and dining. Now think about it, it makes sense. If you like this kind of content, you can subscribe to the channel. If you click that bell, you get notifications and then you don't miss any of our new videos. And if you're serious about your professional training, go ahead and visit us at bimitup.com and there you can contact me directly for some professional training. You can also define places. Let's say you want to define this as a place. You can come, let's say, to 3D view. And then you just go here in the same spot where the links are. And just add a place. And then it can be the current view, whatever. Or it can be a snapshot view. So you just click here get rectangle and you know more or less something like this would be more appropriate like for elevations or detail sections but I just want to show you then you give it a name right so let's say 3d uh, kitchen dining and then just hit OK and that became a place and then you can reference it however you want and you know you, you can do whatever like you can create a link even from a refrigerator so if, if I come here I could select this portion and see the new link that was created so as I hover over the refrigerator if I click on it boom it takes me to the sink I mean this you know what I mean you can get creative with it and you can use that combined with a visual search so for example when you want to search in Bluebeam you have two options you can have a text search which is your typical Let's say a 300 right and I hit enter and then I find all the places where a 300 appears right but you also have what's called a visual search which is let's say you wanted to find all the places that a certain note appears right so let's say this one here you can come here to search and then you can do a visual search and then you can get a rectangle let's say this here and then you can search that see so found it here but it also found it here it also found it here and that's very useful when you have you know something like you say something like this right so section calls or detail calls so you can you can use that as well that way you can find all these guys and generate your hyperlinks do, 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 do. And in this case the selection was pretty straightforward so all the circles with a one were properly selected but sometimes it's a little buggy and it starts actually selecting things that are, are very similar to what you selected but not exactly what you're looking for so when that happens you can always just check here you check them all and then you uncheck the ones that you don't want and then you can apply a certain action to that 
can come here and then you can add a hyperlink to those checked and then you link to whatever you want so let's say I want to link it to a space I could link to the kitchen dining or even a place I could select a place select this one you know kitchen dining just click OK and then you know if I go to one of those it takes me right there and I'm aware that this is not the best fit to showcase that tool but I just want to show you that the tool exists and how you can use it so I hope you can appreciate that and let's say I realize I don't, I don't really like all those nonsense hyperlinks that I created I can always come here to edit and I can undo not only one by one but you can come here to the undo history and then you know here's where I started with the nonsense so I can click here and I go back to this place in time Thank you.